Hi there, Alex from Hammer Missions, and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at roof inspections. So as you can see there, we've got the mill, so open up our modules, pick out a roof inspection, and then we're going to put our polygon around the roof area of the mill. So it's doing that now. So there we go, and we can press OK or return on your keyboard. And there we go. So now what we want to do is we want to change some parameters. So we're just going to uh, make sure the roof is fully covered. Open up our parameters. I'm going to change our camera to the Mavic 2 Pro, which is what we'll be using. We can pop our altitude down. I think we're going to put that at 80 feet. Our ground offset, which we all know by now is how high the building is in comparison to our shoot. Put that at 40 feet so we're going to make that 90 feet bring it up ever so slightly there we go check our overlaps check our flight direction let's move that in a little bit there they are it takes us down to one battery with 87 pictures 80 percent overlap and we've got our show planned images already highlighted so you can see where our shots are going to be and our GSD measurement. If I press done on that I think we're ready to fly. So here we are we're in the field just opening up our kit. I'm going to get that out get it ready to uh, to get airborne so we can collect our data. So there you go there she is and that is what we will be photographing today to create our 3d map so I'm gonna get set up and I'll be back in a moment okay so we're gonna get the drone all set up so we're ready to shoot and I'll do a quick flyover so you can get an idea of what the uh, what the mill looks like prior to us flying our missions. Let's get rid of our old battery. Pop a new battery in. Fire it up. our final automated part of the flight and we're collecting our Nadir data so uploading to the mission to the drone drone takes off gets to its correct time we've sped this up as well to uh, quicken the process so we'd be here for a while so the drone will follow the shape of the mill in grid format, oh, sorry, grid formation. So we go, now we're back in the office. Once we've collected our data, we shall open up our project and we shall name that a roof inspection. So project falls under data analysis. So we'll continue there. And now we need to get our images to upload. So what we can do is we'll, uh, we can either click on there or we can drag them over, which is what we've done here from a uh, separate window. Pop those in there, 89 files. And there you go, you can see them in their small th thumbnail format. Change that to 120 so we can see all of them. And now we'll press continue. Create project. And those will upload. So we'll leave those to upload. And we'll move on. So there you go. Now they've all uploaded, we can open our project. Might take a little bit of time to uh, to load. And there you can see the mill with all its data capture points over the top of it. And you'll see from all the pictures at the bottom there, that's all the data we captured. 
So we can click on each one of these individual yellow markers and it will bring up that specific area and that photograph. So here we go, we can see the roof in quite good detail there on the right. Let's click on another one. And there again, we'll zoom in. We've got some good detail there for our roof inspection. So what we're gonna do now is switch over to our 3D view. So we can see our, our map or our, our flight in 3D above the, uh, above the structure. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna process this into a 2D map. So you select process, select 2D map, and then go process. And what that'll do is it'll process our imagery into a 2D overlay or an ortho, if you like. So that information will now process and we can, uh, we can let that do its thing and we'll move on. So there we go, that's now processed. And as you can see there, it's processed all the photos we've taken into a 2D map. We can turn our photography on and off. And from there, that gives us a good representation of our asset. Again, we can click through the imagery and inspect our roof. So we can also annotate our images, as you can see here, by holding down shift and drawing round. So this one, we'll just put in here, missing tiles, although there are a lot of missing tiles on top of the mill. And again, we'll select another image. We can zoom in, find a relevant spot, hold down shift, draw around the relevant area. We're just gonna put vegetation in here. Again, there's a lot of vegetation growing out the top of the mill. You can also report on this data. I'm not actually gonna run a report, but that gives you all the options that you can report on. And then you would generate report, which would then bring out those annotated images in your report with your descriptions. You can also share the project. So obviously we've blurred out the, uh, the email addresses there, but that gives you an option to share the project with your clients or stakeholders. So that is the end-to-end -end workflow when it comes to roof inspections. So I hope you've liked our video. If you've liked it, give us a, give us a like. You can always contact us on team at hammermissions.com. And thanks very much for watching.